Hey guys, welcome back to more Fear the Walking Dead. We have passed the mid-season finale, um, which was actually quite interesting. Something they threw in there that wasn't expecting where Dakota had run off to. Met this rather strange taxidermist who, just like most people, have got a sad story as to how he ended up in the situation that he was in and it sent him a little bit nuts. Um, but in the end, he did the right thing. However, what it has done has divided the camp <laughs> between I mean it initially divided the camp between Alicia and Morgan them arguing the toss over what they should do with Dakota and whether they should send her back whether they should give her up or whether we use her with her help to help take down an evil bitch sister <laughs> but Strand has just had something revealed to him by Jenny who um, Grace, who is severely pregnant, she's got a locked away. This was her big moment to reveal it. God knows where this is going to go now, so should we go find out? This is episode eight. I kind of feel sorry for him, because he had to give up on June. Make his own choice. And he's going to be struggling with it. He's back home. And sat at the table <laughs> and probably drinking heavily no you're not going to do what I think you're going to do oh god he is oh shit don't do it don't do it we don't want to end up with one of them walking around He's a bad. He now has to live with it. And he's clearly feeling like he doesn't want to live with it. Hey. He's just too good at that. <laughs> up on me. Oh, John. Dakota, what? <sighs> what in the hell are you doing here? Uh, <clears throat> I'm, I'm running for my sister. I guess you could say the same thing. Yeah, kind of. You the one that crowd those past on the bridge? No. Huh. Huh. Is he injured again? I'll be damned. Was he just still How suffering with it? I didn't. The past on the bridge, it kept washing up near my cabin. Well, this river has a way of bringing people back to life. Can't across the bridge, putting the barricade up, trapping the dead. We heard the shot at the goats that night. We didn't think you made it, man. Neither did I. No, everyone How didn't. Did you survive? Had some help. Who from? That night, I don't know. I feel like I'm looking at a ghost. Oh, you are? <laughs> How'd you wind up with that big herd on your tail? Virginia. We hit the herd, got separated. We should start looking for him. Right, okay. Hill, you copy? Hey, Hill. Ranger Dory. Stand by, I'm coming for higher ground. You should have shot him. I didn't need to. Well, let's get out of here. We'll be safer at my cabin. Plan is shifting because we can't make a clean trade, but Virginia's still gonna want her sister back. What, she, you wanna use me as bait? Yeah, but this means a fight. That's why you need me. Well, things will be different, though. God, John, it's for our family. What's this? Nothing. You're doing it again. What? What you told me about before when you were a cop. How you hid yourself away from the world up here. Yeah. Grace, are you okay? I was kind of expecting that. Baby okay? I'm okay, Morgan. So is the baby. I think this little one's about seven months now. I can't believe that I ever picked up on when she was ill. And she suddenly got better than it was that. Call the rangers off. In the meantime, I know you'll keep my sister safe. Because if anything happens to her, it's the whole damn coop. Last time you locked yourself away up here, June washed up. Today it was us. If that's not the universe telling you to come back, I don't know what is. I don't care to kill anyone. You call me a ghost, and I am. Give that baby a chance at a next world. One where, I don't know, all life might actually be precious. 
I'm sorry, I can't do it. But I will help you cross that bridge. Uh, that's the only way north. Why we need you, Morgan? Yeah, I know that's on a negative side. Don't worry, I only want you to shoot people. But <laughs> that was a cool shot. That was like a cowboy western. You almost got killed. I didn't know, cause you stopped him. You know that's why I need you, right? Help keep us from becoming like Jenny. You know that, right? I'm glad Morgan's taking you to that place he's building. Why is that? Because you're starting to sound an awful lot like your sister. Now stand back. She doesn't even realize what she's saying, though, I don't think. There's nothing in there that we need for the truck. You said we're here for the truck. Found these. Oh, dear. There's only so many words you can spell out with those. Yeah, these are not like meant for you. Goodbye, I know Jim. who they're meant for. Yeah. I'll keep my word. I'll get you across, but then I'm coming back here after. Because of what you had to do to Marcus. To kill yourself. Oh, not because I had to kill him. It's because I didn't kill him before. I'm not meant to live in this world. But I just kept my nose out of it. When Cameron was killed, Janice would still be alive. You're like that guy who walked halfway across the country to get away from the people he cares about most and found himself sitting across from your campfire. I found Grace. It's weird how things work out, and That wouldn't it? have happened if you hadn't insisted that I sleep in the bed of your truck that night. Best way I can think of to do that is to get you across that bridge. Keep yeah. the pass from getting at me. After I do what I need to do. I just want it to be over, Morgan. I don't like where this episode's going for John. I have a feeling that the, the writers are giving us a very long, extended out episode with John with this to, to give us the hint that something bad is coming. When that long ago I was in something like the place that you are now, John. Every time I work myself up to it. When the past washes up, steals my nerve. That's because it's not your time. Whoever saved me, they left me that. Made me realize what I had to fight for. Had to make a change. Or I would lose well, all of you. I know that. And that you don't have to make the same mistakes that he made. That you can come with us. Wouldn't count on it. Keep coming here, don't they? Oh, look, they've attached the doors to the truck. That's genius. Well, I'll talk you through it. Yeah. Here. Better than how to use that, too. Yeah. This is a lot for Dakota to take on. She's only a young girl. Here he goes. Ready? Stu could have been a sniper, I think. Kick it in, kick it down again, let's go. Pretend it's one of those thunder drives. What's happened here? Why are we stuck? Oh, you're just sliding on it. I say it's like being a fucking... It's like being in mud or sand. Come on, girl, come on. Just reverse it back a bit and punch it. Jesus, John, watch your back, man. Okay. Go, go, go. <laughs> Fucking floor it. All right, they've got through. They've got through. That's convenient. Thought I was done for. I actually thought he was going to get bit there. And after I've been recording for about three or four hours a night, my ears get hit with these headphones. God, yeah. Noise cancelling. Make your ears really hot. When I was working on the truck, thought you might want it. That's you, isn't it? And your dad? Oh my god, it looks like Buford T. Justice. <laughs> Sound bitch. More of my life than I care to admit. Wondering why he never showed up that summer. Did he never wait to reveal or discuss? I ain't coming with you, Morgan. We know. You know you're stuck. Can you hear me? I repeat, Virginia, can you hear me? What's your plan, Morgan? A copy, Morgan. You finally ready to talk? Yeah, yeah, I am. 
So there's a general store off no. of Old Route 185. No, Morgan! And it's called Bill's, and a couple Shut miles there. Never forget off of me. There is a cabin. Let me guess. Ranger Dory? Me and Marcus told us about his terrible taste in movies. It was not your choice to make! Just like it wasn't yours to chase me down that road when I had my busted leg, but you did it all the same. Shit, John, hate me if you like. But I'll be damned if I'm gonna stand by and let my best friend try and kill himself. Which is what you are trying to do. Like the clip that was holding the wire in place fell off. Probably why she stalled. Thanks. Ah, thank you. What are you thanking me for? Let me drive. Not making me feel like I had to be locked behind Lawton's walls all the time. Like a little kid, yeah. I really like being around you. Well. You can't go back to your cabin. Sure I can. Well, People we care about could end up dead. If I'm waiting for her, I could end this. Can't do that alone. She won't be expecting it. Well, she would. So what, even if you get her, then they're just gonna kill you. Well, yeah. my death will mean something. <laughs> Hey, John, I found it. No! Oh, fuck, no, come on. Oh, it's okay. in my mouth then. I got it. Fuck, you know. What is it? I got it. <sighs> what are you hiding from? Oh, no. No, 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 no. I know what she's hiding. And I hadn't even considered it. It's the knife. Where'd you get this? Where'd you get this? That's what it looks like, okay? I, just, I, I found it. Don't you lie to me. Oh, my God. You killed Cameron, didn't you? Virginia was covering for you. Why'd you push me to investigate? I knew that Ginny wouldn't let it get back to me. Yeah. And I thought if it seemed like... If it seemed like she was hiding something or trying to protect somebody that... You know, people would start to doubt her. It's no different than what everyone else is doing to get what they want. It's She's what my sister wrong. does. She's not wrong. It's what all of her rangers do. I mean, it shouldn't be, okay. but it's all she's ever seen from okay. everyone around her. Can't let you ruin this for me. I did say, I always said during that episode that she has shut you down and moved things forward because she's protecting the person who's actually done it because she knows who that person is. I never for a second considered it was her sister. Shh. Listen to me. I can't have you telling people. Listen to me, Dakota. I'm, I'm not going to tell anyone. You're lying. She, she doesn't understand any other way. I know you've been through a lot. Kids grow up and they mimic what they I say. I get why you wouldn't believe me. Give me a chance to show you. Why? So we can get past this. I can help you. Morgan said I need a reason to live. Well, you just give it in. Just put the gun down. You don't want to shoot me. You don't want to do that to yourself. That's not what I want. <sighs> oh, no. <sighs> what the fuck just happened? Doesn't always have to mean something, John. Oh, no. <sighs> I'm actually in shock. How have I misread her that badly? But then again, <laughs> so did John, so was Morgan, so was Alicia, so was everyone else. <sighs> Please tell me I'm not right with what I'm thinking here. That all this, this I'm running away, I'm a scared child, I hate my sister, blah, blah, blah. What if all this is just a ruse? This is her. This is Jenny's Trojan. This is what she does. She uses her sister as someone who you couldn't help but trust because she's still a child and you, you in your mind you still think that she's innocent and maybe this is how, this is how she uses it. Either that or Dakota is just fucked up. We've got another, oh my God, I've got a name. <laughs> the two girls from The Walking Dead. Um, you know, the one who thought they were alive. Um, maybe she's, oh, 
Christ. I had a feeling we were going to lose John in this episode, but not like that. Well, you didn't see that coming, did you? Neither did I. Oh, man, I'm good. I'm gutted doubly because I liked Dakota and I liked John. No, no, don't. What did you do? Don't. Shit, you can shoot organs to me. I didn't want to do it, but I had to do it. Why? John, where is he? Where is he? Floating down the river. She should, have, me, should have never chest. trusted her with that gun. Yes. Yeah, yeah, Morgan's already paid that together. Range. Fabulous little actress. You're gonna take me to the place you're building. You were gonna let me be a part of it like you were before. You're not gonna hurt me. I wouldn't be so sure. I am the reason you are alive. I saved you at the gulch. Jenny, she left you to die. They were on top of you, about to eat you. She couldn't possibly have I was known there. That. I followed Jenny and the rangers to the gulch. Because I wanted to see her go down. I gave you antibiotics. I gave you painkillers. Uh, you need to do the same. You still have things left to do. I wrote that note. I left it for you. And I was right, too. You're going to have to do it now. And what is that? Kill my sister. Because you are the only person left that can end her. Hey. That's why she saved you. It's not what this is about. It is. It is for her. The only reason that you are still here. I've got to say, regardless of what's happened, she's a fabulous little actress because that's just put me, that's that fucked me up. <laughs> Morgan, you're late. It's John. He's been hurt. You need to help him. Where's my sister? He's heading your way. He's coming down river. You heard Morgan. Go find Ranger Dory. Yeah, that's what we rebuilt so far, but it's a start. Where's Morgan? We got separated. We go for Dwight. Let's start getting the damn wall ready. We may end up bringing this fight with Virginia to our own doorstep. Oh, man. They're just not you this up a level. Rangers to look for him. I already have. Hill, what's going on down there? What do you have? Oh, she sent him. John! John! She has. It's too late. It's too late. He was underwater. He sunk to the bottom. Of course, he drowned. On top of the bullet wound. Well, I don't know what the fuck to think now. I did have the horrible thought that we may not have John at the end of this episode, but absolutely not in the way it just went down. <sighs> because she can't let it go. I'm sad, guys. I'm sad. I'm sad on a double note because the girl doesn't know who I thought she was. And we lost John. That was a really, really good episode. How the hell did they not make that the mid-season finale? <laughs> no, it doesn't matter now anyway. Uh, so we lose a main cast member. Or someone who became a main cast member. And I was trying to work out the thought process of, of Dakota's actions here. As to why she's done what she's done. But she pretty much has explained it herself. In... in what can only be described as a fabulous scene from the actress that plays her. I, she reduced me to tears, even though I was angry as fuck at her. And that's not an easy task to do, to have your audience lose and your viewers to lose someone that they've come to love and, and like and, and, and enjoy watching and you murdered them in cold blood but you're still in tears over the person who's done it and why they've done it that was that was awesome that was <laughs> that if that doesn't give you a conflict of fucking interest what the hell would <sighs> more than anything 
The only thing I appreciate is that I was wrong in the fact that for a minute my man straight went to the darker side of the dark that's already taken place and that it was she was in cahoots with her sister and that she uses her in this way in this manner when she when brute force doesn't work with certain people she brings the kid in and makes you makes you compassionate and loving and caring towards them because then you don't see it coming it's like it's like putting a weapon in the in the hands of a child in Afghanistan. You do, you know what I mean? And in effect, John put the gun in her hand. Yes, for different reasons, but fuck. This show has had some twists and turns. I had a few people in the comments when we were, when we were getting into season four going, it's all downhill from here. What? I'm the first to criticise a show if it's going south and, and the writers have lost their way and the, the just it's become ludicrous or it's become no longer entertaining or it's become mediocre or boring. A bit like the world beyond. Anyway, uh, <laughs> but not this. Whoever thinks from season four onwards that this show is bad, are you watching the same show? I hated season three and I had no qualms of telling anybody that I hated season three because I didn't like all the main cast that was introduced into that at the farm and everything uh, at the ranch. But since season four onwards, it stepped up for me and it stepped up again in this season. I have enjoyed it. The only thing I didn't like was the black chick being a bad guy. That that I, that that just didn't sit right with me f for different reasons. But other than that... It's, I've loved it. Um, well, I've got to accept it and move on, haven't I? <laughs> right. I think I'm going to end it there. I'm still a little bit in shock. We're coming to a showdown. We know we are. Alicia and Charlie have now made it safely to everyone else and Dwight and everybody. And now Morgan has called Jenny's not bluff, but called her to attention that he wants the meat and we need to take this bitch down because she has created the girl that we now know as Dakota. She probably wasn't that broken, but we don't know how long it's been the way it's been with Dakota growing up and seeing and living around people just doing what they want, taking what they want killing who they want at the behest of her sister as and when she sees fit to turn a blind eye when necessary and when not <laughs> what are you gonna do right i'll be back with episodes nine and ten next week if you are still enjoying this show as much as i am please don't forget to check the link in the description and you can watch all the full length episodes over on Patreon. It really helps the channel out. It's the lifeblood of the channel. And while you're down there, if you haven't already subscribed, click that button. I will see you for another two episodes next week. Till then, guys. See you for the next one.